So unless you live under a rock, you have probably seen this. So the big reveal at Comic-Con is Robert Downey Jr. is going to be Victor Von Doom. And keep in mind, they do say Victor Von Doom. So this, technically speaking, is not Tony Stark. Not too sure how I feel about this, quite frankly, because, like, look, let's be honest here. Tony Stark, Iron Man, go hand in hand, right? He pretty much made the MCU what it is. If it wasn't for Tony Stark, if it wasn't for Robert Downey Jr., then... We the MCU would have never been nearly as successful as it is. This dude died off, right? He died off at the end of you know Thanos, right? And you know, just, just let it go, let it go. Do like if it bringing him back and having him play a different character like this, Mister Doom, Doctor Doom, is just I think it's doing too much, man. It's like I think I feel like it's a desperation grab from Disney quite frankly, to get viewers back. Like, that's exactly what it is. It's a desperation grab. So for any of those in, who may be confused about this, well, like, how's he coming back and playing Victor Von Doom? There is, there is in the comics, a, a part in a different universe where Tony is Victor Von Doom. Yeah, I know. So I know it's real. It's real weird. But I, I mean, that's really the only route that they that they could be going, unless they're no. Well, they maybe they'll try to put their own spin on it. I don't really know. But in that version, as you can see here from just doing like a quick little Google, you know, it says during college, Victor Von Doom tricks Tony Stark into an experiment where his mind is transferred to Tony's body, while Tony's mind is transferred to Doom's body with his memory erased, memory gone, wiped, shot, gone, shifty pop pop fluke. Blamed for carrying out prohibited research, Tony was kicked out of college and forced to live a life of hardship as a, a Latvian commoner. After a first period of discouragement, Tony worked hard, reaching the achievement of more than one degree and the following success in the field of industry and innovations in the country of Latvia, which, with his discoveries, began to annoy the economic power of Stark Universal. Led by Victor Von Doom and Tony's body, yeah, it gets kind of confusing there. Not sure if you're following along here. Gets kind of confusing. Nonetheless, led by Victor Von Doom and Tony's body. Doom then tried to end the success of Doom Industries by wearing an armor he designed to sell the highest bidder and sabotage the main Doom Industries research sensor. But Tony responded by wearing armor of his own invention designed for rescue operations. The two Flash and Tony eventually got the better of Doom, who defeated, revealed that he was the real Doom, and that in exchange for his freedom, he would reveal the truth. But Tony replied that the name Tony Stark in the world was associated to greed, cruelty, and lust for power. And he was forever Victor Von Doom, an honorable person. So you do see this, and this is part of the comments, you know, in Earth 11029. This is part of the comments. So it's not like this is, you know, just, they're not just pulling out their booty cheeks, right? But nonetheless, it's still strange. I, I think it's just still strange. And I think it just really feels like a freaking grab to try to get viewers back, dude. Like, look, I'll be completely honest, man. I'm still upset that Jonathan Majors wasn't just like, dude, just bring him back, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, he won the case. Bring him back. Like that dude was such a good king. I was so invested into the Kings. Like because he he just played them so interesting. Like that dude's a good actor. He just played them so interestingly. And so like they should have they should have just brought him back, let's be honest. But that's neither here nor there. That's in the past. So uh, no use to talk about it. It's done now. So but how do y'all feel about Robert Downey Jr. coming back and playing Victor Von Doom? Personally, I'm a little iffy about it. Sure, it's probably just Robert Downey Jr. were hyped about it. I mean, hell, they could have just brought him back. They could have put him as Kang. You know, recasted him as Kang. You know, if you saw what he did in Tropical Thunder, I'm going to do plenty of dude disguise as another dude. I know who I am. I'm going to do plain the dude disguised as another dude. You dudes don't know what dude he is. They could have brought him back in that case, bro. No one would have even been upset. If there's one person who can get away with that, 
it's definitely Robert Downey Jr. Anyways, be sure to let me know what you think down below in the comments. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Much love. Spite to content.